What made Martin Luther King so amazing was, you know, what he brought. But he couldn't have brought all of that without having his main architect at his side. There's nothing like a sense of having, you know, really somebody who has your back, somebody who's with, on your team, someone who's going to tell you the truth. And I can't imagine a more valuable person than, than Bayard Rustin. I think in fifth grade watching Bayard Rustin was the sense of the possible and sort of seeing the future and um, sort of forging an identity and a connection with this older black gay man as I was a white Jewish kid in Brooklyn. There was a profound sense of connection as a human being. And I think that's ultimately what Bayard Rustin stood for, was a sense of the dignity of, of each of us and to keep fighting for that, that dignity. I'm sure I didn't understand that in fifth grade, but I can envision him as I sit here now and realize that that memory got built on over time and that message was what, you know, really I've always held with me. What I notice now that I hope that this series helps and that others do is to start really talking about what happened in those years between 1950 and 2000. Uh, really, what were all those incredible social movements and how did they happen? Getting to this idea of the essence of Bayard Rustin is really, really getting to a place where we really look inside ourselves and truthfully say, actually, we're all kind of the same. You know, we all have the same basic needs deep down and inside. And that's, I think, what I find so incredible is how did this man not just intellectually or analytically connect the dots, but how he had in his soul a sense of something so beautiful.